These are longhorn crazy ants, and they're really good at carrying things together. They quickly agree on a direction to go. This might be easy, because they all want to take this cricket to the same place, their nest. But if their path is blocked by an obstacle, like a twig or a rock, it's much harder to figure out where to go. Obstacles present problems for groups. What kind of strategy do these ants use to navigate around obstacles? To find out, we blocked groups of crazy ants with different obstacles, made out of Legos. One obstacle was a simple wall, which should be easy for ants to navigate. They only need to know the direction of their nest. This cul-de-sac, on the other hand, is harder because it requires moving backwards, away from their nest. If the group strategy only uses their nest direction, they'll fail. So what happened? These ants navigated the wall very quickly. They took longer with the cul-de-sac, but they still always succeeded. This begs the question, how do they solve the cul-de-sac? As we found out, the longer they've been stuck, the further backwards they move. Eventually, they move back far enough to escape the obstacle. If they had always moved backwards from the start, it would have taken them longer to navigate the wall. Crazy ants have a flexible navigation strategy that allows them to rapidly solve simple obstacles while still succeeding at difficult ones. We also blocked groups with an impossible obstacle, and we were surprised by the results. To find out more, including what happened in this trap, download the full paper from the Journal of Experimental Biology's website.